Do you ever feel like video games just aren't as fun as they used to be? Maybe you get excited about the idea of playing one. Maybe you heard a video game soundtrack and it really just inspired you to play again. So then you decide to sit down and play, but then you feel kind of bored. Or maybe when you're playing, you feel like the time is slipping by. And then once you get off, you just don't feel great. Maybe that same day you told yourself you were finally going to start reading or exercising or maybe just hanging out with some friends after school and trying to be more social. Well, if you feel that same way, let me just tell you that you are not alone. I've been in this same situation where video games just haven't been the same anymore and they haven't been serving me as well as they used to. Here's my story with video games. When I was six years old, my family had gotten a Wii for Christmas, and the very first game I played on there was New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and I immediately fell in love with it. My sister and I played it together, and then eventually we completed all the worlds, and soon enough, we defeated Bowser. I also remember every single morning before I'd go to school, I'd wake up early to play Mario Kart, Wii Sports Resort, or Super Mario Galaxy. And honestly, those were some of the first core memories I had of gaming when I was quite young. When I was 8 years old, I first discovered Minecraft. Now when I had first heard of it, I honestly thought Minecraft sounded pretty weird. But I still gave it a try. I downloaded the demo world onto a really old PC, and it was extremely laggy. I was running at around 4 or 5 FPS. And I didn't have very much experience with a PC game before. I was so used to playing on the Wii, and I've never like used a keyboard and mouse for playing a game before. So my first impression of Minecraft was actually kind of bad. Like, I didn't know how to play, it was super laggy, I didn't understand the point of playing. So I actually thought Minecraft was pretty stupid. Like, I, thought, I genuinely was like, why would anyone play this game? Fast forward a year later, our family moved, which brought me to a new school, which kind of like allowed me to reset and make new friends. All of my good friends there were obsessed with Minecraft. We would chat about it nonstop, especially during lunch. I remember first getting the combat handbook, I think one of my friends gave it to me, and I still have it, which is pretty cool. And then I started playing it with friends at their houses on their Xbox 360s, and this was like truly when my first Minecraft memories were made. So this, this is the original combat handbook that my friend gave me back in fourth grade, and it gave critical knowledge, knowledge, especially on like all the mobs and their weaknesses. And it also uh, talked about how to defeat the Ender Dragon, how to defeat the Wither and everything. And just back then, this was like some of the most useful knowledge ever. And this seriously was like one of the coolest books I ever had. So around this time, I ended up playing on Pocket Edition, but I didn't really like it. So I started saving up for my own Xbox One instead. Then when I was 10 years old, I finally had saved up enough cash from doing extra chores and things like that. And then I did it. I was able to buy my original refurbished Xbox One. And guys, I played a lot. After school, I would spend countless hours playing with my friend or just solo, and I would always play survival. I also loved to mess around in creative mode, mostly just making maps or trying to come up with something I could do with redstone. And then when the Minecraft minigames were introduced for the console edition, that was like the coolest thing ever. I would also spend countless hours on YouTube trying to come up with new ideas for what I could build, and honestly, my greatest inspiration at the time was Mumbo Jumbo. And these honestly were some of the happiest times of my childhood. Soon enough, I figured out how to capture gameplay on my Xbox, and then that led me to create my very first video, which you can still see on my YouTube channel today. And then also, I played some other games such as Geometry Dash, I mostly just played that on my phone. And then I also tried a bit of Roblox, but for me, Minecraft has always been like the main focus. It's always been the main game. As I began playing more and more video games, I felt the need to finish them. I felt like I always had to get all the achievements, or at least try to. I got 10,000 stars in Geometry Dash, and most recently, I felt the need to build this crazy survival base in Minecraft. This is something I thought about doing for a long time, and I started streaming Minecraft Hardcore, and I just felt like, man, I have to build this. But here's the problem. When I was streaming Minecraft, it took up a lot of time, and every single time I got off, 
I felt like I was out of touch with reality. I know some people like this about video games, but for me, it was starting to drive me crazy. Keep in mind, I was live streaming once or twice a week for about three hours each. I know that isn't very much, but I had other goals at the same time that I wasn't doing, and those were just reading and working out. I was prioritizing this video game over my goals, and I was using the it's good to have a balance in everything motto as an excuse for my procrastination. Of course, balance is good, but I knew that I had to stop playing. I just had a gut feeling, and I knew that it was necessary for my growth as a person. So I knew I had to stop, but I kept playing, and consequently, my hatred for both myself and for Minecraft only grew stronger, and I felt incredibly bored, impulsive, guilty, and angry at the same time. I was getting really sick of this. On October 1st, I played pretty much that entire day, and I ended up feeling so bad and frustrated. I felt just done. So I made a very impulsive decision. I decided to end my hardcore world that day. Now this was a very scary thing to do, but at the same time, I also felt so relieved. Not too long ago, I just felt like I had to get this finished, but now I've officially broken that cycle. Something I keep thinking about a lot is, would my inner child still want me to play Minecraft? Or would he understand that people change and passions evolve? I think that if my younger self saw me today and he noticed how video games were slowing me down and I really wanted to try YouTube again, work out, read books, honestly, I think he'd want me to do that. When you're a kid, you don't want to feel stuck. You want to always move on to the next thing and just explore the world. So why not do that now? And because I've decided to let go of feeling like I have to finish something, I've just gained this feeling of calmness and peace. And I feel like nothing is holding me back anymore. I can now put all my focus into my new passions and into this real world. Now, I won't lie, I do regret deleting the world. If you are wanting to take a long break from the game, you don't have to delete your Minecraft world. In fact, I would advise against it. You could just save it somewhere and take the Minecraft launcher off your desktop and off your taskbar. Just keep it out of sight and out of mind. So there you have it. I'm done grinding video games. But let me make this part clear. I still play games with my friends and family every Sunday because I genuinely have fun spending time with them and I don't really feel that same negative effect that I would get from playing games completely alone. I'm no longer playing to distract or escape, but rather to connect and relax after already accomplishing my other goals for the day. The point of this video was not to be to cut out all video games. That's not what I'm trying to say here. Just take a look around you. Look at your goals right now and just think what is most important to you right now? And what is that one thing or that one belief that's holding you back? 